Japan's seven-year-old escape prison. Today in GTA 5, we're back as a kid. However, after the last episode, the kid uh, unfortunately was arrested and now he's in prison. Thanks to you guys. Now, obviously we can explore the prison a little bit. This is our holding cell. Looks pretty much the same as any other cell. And uh, we can walk out and just uh, explore the outside. Now, as a kid, you can, uh, you know, always run around outside. I, I believe there's a prison escape going on right now, which is a little bit unfortunate because I, I kind of just want to have a good time with everybody. This is where they park the cars. Now, we're going to get back to this later. And this is where the grown-up prisoners hang out. Oh, no. Oh, no. They do not like seeing us. Oh, boy. Yeah, I had a little bit of a fit, like a fight with the guards. So I should always uh, be hiding from the guards. But these are my homies. This uh, this guy, his name is Pierre. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really look like a Pierre. This guy's name is Ramon. We're all in the same gang, just so you know. We have prison gangs. And this is Pierre's twin brother, Daniel. I know, it sounds a little bit feminine, but uh, don't tell him that. This is my favorite wall. This is where we always, you know, write stuff on there that we love each other and such. And uh, this is a gym. I, I really like visiting the gym. I mean, I'm just a little kid and it's probably really bad for me, but uh, I really like showing off for the guys. You know, that's, that's what I like to do as a kid. I mean, I'm seven years old after all. And uh, sometimes I just like to, uh, uh, just mess her, uh, show my dominance. Oh, that's tw Pierre's triple twin brother. Sometimes I just like to show my dominance. Now nobody wants to fight back to a kid, but uh, I've killed about seven people while already being in this, um, in this prison. It's great. Really like to, uh, you see everybody, nobody's impressed. Everybody knows they should not mess with me. Now, obviously, it's my goal to try and escape, and the guards are always running around because everybody's always trying to escape, and, you know, sometimes uh, that makes sense. These disguise running away from us. Now, let me show you what happens if we try to escape this way because I've tried this already. I'm a really strong kid. They, they shoot at us, but uh, it doesn't do much. Um, and sometimes the guards, they can't even see us. So we could just go like this way. Oh, that's the guy who's trying to escape. What an idiot. He's right over here. The sirens are going off. Nobody has any idea. Well, if you jump down over here, there's still a massive trench. And have you seen me? I'm a little kid. There's no way I can escape this way. There's absolutely no way I can climb over that fence. Now, there's another way to escape. There's some stairs over here. The watchtower's over there. Oh, so, some more sirens are going off. Like, literally, guys, if this this is the easiest prison to escape from. Now, there is, as far as I know, I should be able to run around this way. Nobody likes to shoot at little kids. They can't even, they can't even see me. We can run this way. Now, jump off over here, but still, we won't be able to escape. And there's literally a police officer over there waiting for us. Okay, we have to go through that security checkpoint. That's not gonna happen. This really is not gonna happen. So we need to find a different way to escape. Now, I have prepared for this video. I've prepared something very special. But first, let me show you what it's like to escape through the front, if that's even possible. I mean, there's literally a police officer there, but he, he probably thinks I'm just a little ordinary kid, you know? He's like, hey, it's just an ordinary kid. Oh, no, he just pulled a shotgun. Okay, I'm out of here. I am out of here. He knows. He knows. He's not going to let anybody pass that checkpoint. Oh, there's a guard over there. So, you know what I like to do with these guards? Bam! There we go. That's what I like to do with the guards. You treat me terrible over here. You only give me two pancakes on Sundays instead of three. Because I'm just a little kid, huh? You know what? Screw this. Oh, let's try to escape. He's not going to shoot. I'm just a little kid. Let's try to escape through the main entrance. Oh, there's another police officer. Let's go. And we got caught. Yep, so we're back in our cell. Uh, this time we're not really allowed to leave. The guards are waiting outside. So if we do try to leave, they'll throw us back in straight away. I was just reading this book, 1929 Lessons from the Stock Market Crash. You know, very interesting book. I, I can barely read. I'm only seven years old. I, I don't even know how to tell the time yet. And uh, after lifting some weights, I came up with a 
brilliant idea. I was also watching Netflix. And El Chapo, a famous uh, drug dealer, he managed to escape from prison. So I thought, why don't we also dig a hole and try to escape? So that's what I did, cops. I've been digging a hole for months now. Actually, you know, I, I, I came prepared. This was my second plan to try and escape. They have absolutely no idea. I'm on, I'm on high surveillance. I'm on lockdown. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty tight in here. And um, I've set this all up. I've set this all up so that we can go and escape the prison. Let me just, let me just keep on running. Let me just keep on walking. And right over here, this is where the wheelbarrow is and everything. Right up here, this is where the gang's hiding out. Now I asked these guys. You know, got them off Craigslist. I'm like, hey, hook a brother up, you know. I'm trying to escape from prison. They're like, no worries, man. And this is the escape vehicle. Now, obviously, I hope the police is not gonna find us. We need to get to our safe house ASAP. But if we get caught by the police, we're screwed. So far, everything seems completely fine. I'm just driving around. I mean, I'm a seven-year-old kid. Oh, there we are, behind the steering wheel. Driving around, you know what's up. I had to learn how to drive when I was seven years old because that's what I needed to survive in this world. Oh, sorry, yep, I mean, I don't really have my driver's license yet. Anyways, everything seems to be going great so far. Nobody has a clue that we're trying to escape prison. Nobody has a clue that they're looking for a seven-year-old boy who escaped prison. All right, just, you know, just cruising on the road. Cruising, oh, it's a police officer. Oh, no, okay, unfortunately, the police has caught us. They have noticed that this seven-year-old is driving a green car. My uh, accomplices must have probably been caught and they snitched on me. You know what's up, snitches get stitches. So try to escape, let's try to escape these police uh, officers while we can. Let's just keep on driving and driving and driving. I mean, they're right behind us. This is, uh, this is pretty bad. Oh, they're right over here. No, no, this is my mom's car. She finds out there's damage has been done to it. I will have to go back to prison. But this time it'll be a lot worse because my mom will give me a lot of spankings. I'm still driving towards the safe house. Uh, but first, we obviously need to lose the police officers. How can we lose the police officers? I genuinely don't know. I don't know, they're, they're right behind us. They're driving pretty fast compared to us. We're in a pretty bad car. We need to find a solution. Oh, I think one of the, the police officers just crashed over there. Oh! All right, we're going way too fast. Let's just keep on driving. Let's just keep on driving. I think the police officer might have just crashed into a car. Let's just keep on going. We will find an escape route fairly, fairly soon, I hope. I hope, all right, we have helicopters in the air. Let's hope they're not looking for us. Instead, I, I'm just gonna chill here for a second. You know what? Let's go this way, open, open. Okay, we don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. We need to park somewhere. We need to ditch this car. We need to ditch this car so nobody can, so nobody can track us. Okay, we ditch it here. We go on foot. We go on foot, let's go. They have absolutely no idea. Let's go to this construction site. Oh, there's something right below us. Come on, come on, come on. Go to the construction site. Okay, cops. I think the police found the car, but they didn't realize that we weren't in it. I mean, they couldn't have seen it anyways. We're so little. All right, next up, cops. We have to get to the safe house. That's where everything's waiting for me. And you'll never guess where this safe house is. All right, cops. We've made it to the safe house. There are some police officers over here. But they, uh, they're not really looking for us anymore. Let me just take a seat over here and uh, end this video because we're not anyways. Cops, thank you so much for watching. Do you want to see me escape a five-star wanted level as a seven-year-old? If you do, drop a like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Make sure you use code COPS in Fortnite Support a Creator. The code gets reset every two weeks, so make sure you're still supporting me. Now go and get yourself some awesome skins. Code COPS.